All right, so let's go ahead and no worries, I got you. So let's tackle this one here. So when you read the question, it's gonna say, hey, find the bigger number. Right there, find the bigger number. So the specific category that I would categorize this as is gonna be arithmetic reasoning, unit, and this one is going to be um, unit seven. This is gonna be systems of equations. And this is gonna be one of your, <laughs> gotcha Damien, this is gonna be one of your simpler unit of, uh, simple system of equations problems. This is gonna be one of the easier ones. So let me just show you exactly how one would set this up with confidence. But even if you don't understand some of the things that I'm doing, I hope that you can understand the math or the English that I'm really talking about. So everybody, is it true that in this problem, some way, somehow, they're saying you have a little number and a big number, and they want you to find the big number. Is that true? Cool. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So we need to make sure that that's very, very clear. Keep replying, keep replying here. Make sure that that's very, very clear. Again, we're talking about the problem that says that there's a little number and a big number, but specifically, we are looking for the bigger number. So I'm going to say L equals a little number, B equals bigger number, and this is what I want, the bigger number. Okay, this is where it's very, very, very important to know the technical skill of converting English into math. It's a very, very important skill that you need to have because you can learn that if you see the first sentence, it says, hey, the sum of these two numbers is 45. Everybody, what math word is sum? Hit me. Addition, right, addition. Not, ter not too terrible of a question. So when you say that the sum of two numbers is 45, is it true that what you're saying is that when you add the little number plus the big number, you get 45. Is that true or false to you? The sum of these two numbers is 45. So to me, that says little number plus big number is 45. Right? Definitely a hard question, right, Damien? So we want to take it one step at a time and see where it leads us. So once we have that, take a look at the next sentence. The next sentence says, hey, one number is four times bigger than the other or four times the other. So all that means is this, everybody, the bigger number is four times the smaller number. Is that true to you? If saying it and hearing it in English, does that make sense to you? The bigger number is four times the smaller number. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and make that happen here. Watch this. The bigger number is four times the smaller number. Right there. The big number is four times the other number. Great. So with that, my party people, and guess what we're going to do now? What we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to solve a system of equations. Literally this. Everybody, is it true? Is it true that this B, this big number, is the same as this big number? If we knew what the big number was, we could plug them into either one and it'd be the same thing, right? Right, that is true. That B up there and that B in the other equation, they mean the same B. They both represent the bigger number. So do you notice right over here that B is the same thing as saying four of the little numbers? Because of that, this same B right over here is the same as four little numbers. And I'm gonna do this for you, I'm gonna do this favor. Let me duplicate this. And I'm gonna show you that this equation right there can be turned into L plus 4L, that's pretty much what happened there, 
you can rep you can switch it out you're using what's called substitution here i don't have all the time in the world to, to talk about you know the the logic and everything behind it but what i'm saying is if b is the same thing as 4l replace it and the reason i'm replacing it is because it gives me a much easier equation to solve because now i don't have a l and a b in the same equation i just got l l plus 4l how many l's do i have now everybody If I got L plus four L, that's five L's, exactly. That's five of those L's together. So we have five L equals 45. What do we do to solve for L, everybody? What do we do to solve for L? What's that gonna be? Exactly, divide both sides, chain by five. Include that and you're perfect. So boom, that'll be divide both sides by five. And we learn that L equals nine. And so for those of you that got really excited once we got there and you're saying, hey, answer's B, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. L is the little number. We were asked, we highlighted it, we were asked to find the big number. So nine gave us the little number. We can now use that to find the big number. And we can do two ways of it. One way is the big number is four times the little one. Nine times four, that's 36. So you can get it like that, or you can remember that they add up to 45. So if you take away the nine for the little number, you have 36 left over, that's still gonna give you the big number. But boom, either way, understanding what you're looking for is a mighty, mighty big deal because that'll help you understand when you are done. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, Go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.